six, five, one. Uh, all right, we're on, so I'll uh, call the roll and make sure that uh, I'm not missing anybody. Uh, let's see here, I have Council Member Swope. You are present. Uh, Council Member Johnston, you are here. I am. Council Member Nash, are you here? Council Member Nash, Council Member Roberts. Councilmember Roberts. Councilmember Rosenberg, you're here. I am. Councilmember Swope, you're here. Councilmember Taylor. Councilmember Taylor. Councilmember Vercher. Councilmember Vercher. Well, I do detect a quorum. This is the uh, uh, the June 2nd, 2020 Public Safety Beer and Regulated Beverages Committee. And uh, uh, I would like a motion on pursuant to the Governor Lee's Executive Order Number 16 regarding electronic communications as extended by Executive Order 34. Um, so I'd like moved. To make the motion that this committee meeting agenda consists essential business of the Metro Council and uh, meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. I heard a motion uh, properly seconded. So let us begin. Uh, our first item of business tonight is resolution 2020-331. Sledge is the sponsor. Uh, it exempts St. Ellie located at 1420 3rd Avenue South from the minimum distance requirements for obtaining a beer permit pursuant to section 708090E uh, of the Metro Code. I do have uh, a letter from the sponsor requesting to defer this to July 7, 2020. Uh, so if I could, I have a motion for that deferral. Mr. Chairman, I move to defer this till when the sponsor wants to defer it to. July 7th. Yes, July 7, 2020. So move, moved and properly seconded on a deferral to July 7th, 2020. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Anybody opposed? So we recommend deferral. Next item of business is RS 2020-341 Mendez Pulley and Style Sponsor. Uh, it approves an application for an assistance to firefighters grant. Passes. So uh, 
that concludes our agenda for the day. Unless uh, Councilman Swope, you want to speak to uh, the issue, the resolution is issue that was discussed earlier. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I do have a late filed resolution that I am going to defer until next week in light of the fact that we have a serious conversation to have tonight. Um, based on the conversation you and I had today, sir, I am hoping that the Public Safety Committee can meet between now and next Tuesday at a special committee meeting. Obviously, we have to go through public, I mean, uh, through uh, community announcements and things like that, uh, advance notice, to discuss the issues surrounding what happened in this city not just last Saturday, but continues to happen as of right now. And it would be my request from the committee that we meet sometime before the end of this week. All right. Any, uh, you got anything else you want to add before I weigh in on that? Nope. All right. I, I would, uh, I'm going to tell you my opinion about this, and I'm open uh, for uh, opinions from the committee. Uh, I, I think that what we got going on out there right now is still fluid. I'm still hearing intelligence about uh, things that the police departments have to deal with. We have other members of the council who have requested uh, discussions with public safety departments to answer their questions about certain things that have gone on. And uh, it's my desire to kind of keep us focused on uh, what's going on and how we are handling the current uh, environment, intelligence, and things that the police department and the fire department and our first responders are involved in currently. I would, I think it's appropriate at some point to bring them together to ask these, uh, to deal with these issues. Uh, so what my preference would be is for uh, Councilman Swope, who is bringing a resolution, uh, and you deferred this resolution to the next meeting, uh, I, I would like to go ahead and, and address this at the regularly scheduled um, public safety meeting that we have next week and then subsequent to that about a week later or so uh, or even further out than that come together in a special call meeting so that we can discuss all of the issues surrounding um, what went on and any other questions that other members have uh, and I can certainly ask for a longer meeting than our normal 15 minutes so that we can address the concerns that uh, you have in your resolution, Councilman Swope, but that would be my preferred course of action. Happy to hear what anybody else has to say about that. Anybody? This this is Councilman Nash. Ah, hey, Bob. Sorry I was late. Um, I, I certainly understand the interest in Antifa, but uh, from what I saw in the recent news reports, Twitter just... Uh, kicked off a couple of white supremacist groups that were using, pretending to be Antifa. Um, and so until we get a little clearer information about whether they were involved and what extent they're involved, I think we'd be better off uh, holding off for a little while. All right. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, I don't know when you, uh, when you joined us, but Councilman Swope uh, has agreed to push his resolution regarding that subject to the next meeting. So at this juncture, we're kind of, we are talking about uh, when to discuss the issues surrounding his and when to also come together and discuss other things. It's my recommendation that uh, what I'd like to do is discuss his bill at the appropriate uh, meeting next Tuesday uh, and maybe extend a little more time for the public safety meeting so we can address that. But then come together at a later date while uh, uh, we still support and allow the police department to focus on what they're involved in right now and discuss matters that are of concern uh, by uh, the committee and other council members at a later date. I tend to agree. I, I, my fear in bringing this specific conversation up too soon is that it would create unnecessarily inflammation to an already um, heightened emotional um, conversation that, that's ongoing and, uh, as you said, fluid from a, a public safety standpoint that the police are still dealing with. And, um, I would like to see some things die down first. I think we all need to take a deep breath, and, and I, I just don't want to add fuel to an already uh, very blazing fire. I would hope, hope to just, I, I want to have the conversation. I just, I want, I, I would like to wait for, for just a, a bit. Mr. Chairman, John Cooper, uh, just to clarify, 
not will not be a committee meeting next week. Um, that is just for the capital improvement budget and the zoning public hearing matters and a few other budget related things. Um, so the next regular meeting is actually on the 16th. Okay. If Councilman Swope defers his though, will his resolution be heard next at the next meeting? Well, it's, it's an adjourned meeting, so it's really up to the vice mayor as to what legislation gets on that agenda. Um, typically, new items are not heard on that agenda because it's an adjourned meeting, but there's nothing that, that says the vice mayor couldn't. I see. So when we defer this one meeting, uh, this could end up in the lap of uh, the agenda on the meeting on June the 16th is what you're saying? Yeah, I'd say, um, well, there, there actually wouldn't be a deferral tonight. It just wouldn't be offered. And the next regular right. meeting when something could be offered would be for the, uh, the June 16th. Okay. All right. Councilman Swartz. And Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, I did speak with the Vice Mayor today at length about this, and he agreed to put this on the agenda next week because okay. this is a time-sensitive kind of critical issue. But as I've said to you today, and as we've said here publicly this, this afternoon, uh, yes, we are in an inflamed state of emotion right now across the board. Um, and as a consequence, it might make more sense to hold off for seven days. If, if you, Mr. Chairman, would agree to ask for a special public uh, uh, public safety meeting committee meeting next Tuesday, uh, I would very much appreciate it, and I would like to have a little bit of extra time because I don't think this is a fifteen minute conversation. Well, if we're going to hear your bill or your resolution next week, I think it is appropriate for the uh, public safety committee to meet uh, specifically would have to discuss to. that if there's going to if it's going to be on the agenda. So, uh, uh, what I would do is. Uh, just uh, uh, request the privilege of discussing this with the vice mayor and confirming that it'll be on the agenda, at which time I'll make sure that we have time as a public safety committee to, uh, uh, to discuss and address it. And my preference would be next Tuesday. So you have my thanks, sir. All right. Any further discussion on that issue? All right, I don't think it takes any action. I'll, uh, I'll communicate with everybody uh, uh, once I've had this discussion with the vice mayor and it will be rapid so that we'll have enough notice. All right, is there any further business before the committee before we adjourn? All right, thank you all for your attendance. Uh, this uh, effectively adjourns the